Hello, 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 Lime Green Squid here again with Bloodborne. Let's get some more freeze frames for stagger animations, and we're going to attempt to fight Mr. Gascoin, Father Gaswan, Gascoin, Gasquanya. There we go, get that freeze frame for that stagger. It's not as important, so I'm not going to put the arrows up for everything. Mostly, I'm going to skip over the stuff we do over and over again. <laughs> Except for this part here. Get this guy. See if I can stagger him. Yeah, it seems to work when you go right there. Alright. Good, good. Ignore the other guy and just walk up to Father, up to the gate. There's no, no mist yet, so it's my first time. What is he hacking up? It's not his wife, is it? No, <laughs> it's definitely a beast. Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. <laughs> all right. Let's see if I can get a few staggers. I'm gonna keep the first few battles unedited, but I die a lot, so it's gonna be a lot <laughs> a lot of cuts eventually. It's just hard to get the timing. It's, it seems to be with Father Gaspon you kinda have to guess when he's gonna start moving with some of it. Because this one, right here, what the hell is he? He's not even doing anything. I just randomly decided to shoot and it worked. <laughs> so, how is the stagger uh, system fair if you have to guess half the time? That's what I'm trying to figure out if there are consistent timing. There has to be consistent timing. It's just the window frames seem to be so narrow. Every time I think I'm making some progress, he just gets me so much. At least I go back in and mostly try to get it back with attacking, but sometimes, sometimes I just don't. Because I'm trying to get the timing. I'm trying to figure out when should I be shooting the gun, when should I be uh, attacking, when should I be dodging. It's, it's all a game. It's all a dance. <laughs> Seems to work when they roll. Well, at the end of his roll, pretty much. Around there. I just press the shoot. That's when it staggers him there. Gotcha, bastard. Oop. I was transforming into his werewolf self. Well, I would consider it a werewolf, but when you look closer, it's just a deformed man. <laughs> Beast. Wretched beast. Motherfucker. Like, you just smacked me down. See, big giant weird face with a disjointed jaw. <laughs> so I go back to the Hunter's Dream and. Or no, I go into my uh, items and turn on the music box. Because the little girl mentioned that it. Uh, Brought father back to his senses, made him remember. Okay, whoops. Oh, that worked though. So when his axe is just above his head, it seems to be a good time, but it always seems to hit me also. It, 
How do you judge which attacks to uh, try to stagger when half of them hurt you back? But I guess that's part of it. You're supposed to move in and then attack so you can get your health back as well as a visceral attack, but I don't have that complex thinking <laughs> in, in the heat of the moment. Man, this guy's a bastard. Ooh. That was close. Well, in that time we rolled, it, it didn't work. Probably should have uh, freeze framed that to see why. But this video already has too many cuts, and it wasn't letting me make any more. <laughs> I have more cuts coming up. It's just that I used them all up. Ooh, that one worked. Another gas coin. You want to get him below halfway before he starts transforming. <laughs> He's gonna start now. Oh, did I play the music box? I think I played the music box. Now he's starting to transform. Not because of the music box, but now I'm playing it again while he's a wolf or, or his demon self. See it? It, it messes him up. For a few seconds, but that's about it. <laughs> oh my god, as soon as he gets out of it, whack, whack, whack. Jesus. Alright, well, making my way back, I toy around with these little bitches and let's check out this stagger timing. Alright, that one works. Yeehaw. Hopefully that helped something. <laughs> Blood vials. Oh yeah. I spent a lot of time going back and uh, farming and leveling up and stuff. But I mostly uh, skip over that. <laughs> oh, fail! The little guy killed me. I like my pretty brick. <sighs> Shoot. Stagger. Repeat. All right. Do -do -do. Play a dance and get my souls back. Damn it! <laughs> I lure these guys over the bridge and see if they get run over, but they don't. <laughs> I still have to kill them. <laughs> Another stagger. Yeehaw! Repeat. All right. Let's enter the booster cast coin. Ah, do your breathing. Ah. Okay. All right. Whatever he's doing, he's not doing anything, but I shot him in the right time there again. So, you, with Father Gaspar, you kind of have to guess when it's the right time. How is the system fair if you have to guess? I want consistency. We're getting too old for this. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only frustrating part of some of these games sometimes. It's not supposed to be the game's fault that you die, it's supposed to be your fault. That's why the new what the hell? <laughs> That's why the new Mario Party games suck because they're way more uh, chance based. See, I did it right there again, but who knows why it works and why it doesn't sometimes. There it seems to work, but it still hits me. Those attacks always hit me when it still works, and then other attacks just you have to guess the one they're going to happen. So, is there anybody that knows how to get consistent staggers on Father Gasco? Oh, my goodness. Jesus. Immediately, this guy just kills me right away as, as the wolf version, damn it. And then he kills me again. And then his human half. Kill me. 
kills me. <laughs> so I go back and I level up some more, do some farming, level up some more, do some more farming, uh, buy a bunch more items, upgrade my weapons here. <sighs> Finally. Last time I was here, I only had seven bone shards. <laughs> so <laughs> that was an annoying bloodstone shards. So let's go, let's kick some ass. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, and then found this other thing that I never found ever before in my playthroughs. But that uh, Matty Gago guy, to show up his videos, but uh, he was pointed in that direction too, to find that other shop. Alright, so that stagger worked. When he's starting his axe grind, you can do it. And there was uh, his, his second wipe of the, uh, the power move. <laughs> Seems to stagger. Right. Let's see if we can get over this guy here. Finally! Bye bye, Father Gaspar. 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 Or whatever you. Gaspar. Got the Urden Tomb Key, got the lantern just uh, arrived there. Nice, now I can save. And I'll wander around the area, see if there's anything of note. And I do find something of note. But first, let's check out the gate and open it up. Well, these unbreakable coffins. All right, open the gate to the Erden uh, Tomb Cathedral. But let's check out over here. There's an item down there. Hmm. Oh no! Red jeweled brooch. It's the mom. Oh no. We just fought the father and the mom died up here. We're not sure how, probably when he got crazy. Now we gotta take the brooch back to the little girl in the window. I'd like to remember her face, if I if I could. Well, it's covered by her hair, so it's a pity. Okay then. Well, until the next video when we will enter the Odin Cathedral and uh, we'll eventually talk to the little girl again. Maybe we can uh, tell her to come to come here for safety. But I don't think that's what happens. Dead body waits ahead. Yeah, that's that was the mom, I suppose. Okay, until next time we will enter the, the cathedral. <laughs>